Hello everybody, I am your commentator Odds Cornet, and we are back yet again with these uploaded matches. All these uploaded matches will be Ladder to Glory qualifying matches, both men and women. Men are gonna have the are gonna have a six man ladder to glory match, while the women have an are gonna have an eight woman ladder to glory match. Start off with the first qualifier, which is Alice Pierce. After everything she she has done last season, and she just returned at PCN Fallout, bound for success edition, with a very weird and make like like riddle or or poem. Whatever you want to call it. Alice Pierce is certainly a couple fries short of a Happy Meal. A lot of people say she's pretty much missing every everything but the box. But I think Alice Pierce is certainly a she's she may be crazy, but she she may be crazier than a rainbow trout in a car wash. But she certainly is a smart individual. She's not stupid. Sly as a fox. Let's see who her opponent is here. And oh no, I've, I've. Oh, we know this startup. <clears throat> we know who this startup is. And if this woman walks out. This is going to be quite interesting, and and will she? And yes, she does. Casey Grimm has returned. <clears throat> Casey Grimm, one of the people rewarded match of the year in 2019 for the Hell in a Cell match he had with Emily Lassiter. Did not do much during 2020 due to COVID due to the fact that she has children at home and she wanted to say COVID free <coughs> for her kids when given the option so she had very limited dates in 2020 but it's good to see Casey Grimm back in action Casey Grimm, one of the most, probably now one of the most longest running, not, not longest running, but at least in call wrestling for a good amount of time. She came into CPW around, she came into the old Royal X Wrestling back around 2010, 2009, and left in, and left in 2011 due to her neck injury. <clears throat> and she returned in 2019. And now here in 2021, she could possibly be a Ladder to Glory winner. First ever Ladder to Glory winner, women's Ladder to Glory winner. First ever women's Ladder to Glory winner was was Cicely Scott. I believe the first one to successfully cash it in was Julia Sabina. And the first ever Ladder to Glory winner was, as everyone knows, Chris Knight. Back in the old Raw Lex Wrestling days. And we'll actually be seeing Chris Knight later in this tournament. Later in this some um, qual not this tournament, no, later in this later in these qualifying matches. Casey Grimm back. Good good to see her back. She she looks in phenomenal shape. <clears throat> she looks in absolute phenomenal shape. Here we go, Bell's gone, we're underway. Carbonable type to start the matchup, Armringer. 
by Alice Pierce to a, <coughs> to, a, to an arm lock, using her power to push push down Alice Pierce. Kick right at the gut. Carrying Alice Pierce by the by those pigtails. And for a kick. Strike. 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 Elbow. And for a right hand. And for a kick. Missed. And struck right in the knee. And just drops. Nearly drops her right on her. I think that. I think she got dropped right on the side of her head. The Alice Pierce. And <coughs> Alice Pierce has normal laughing and a big kick. Dropping down Casey Grimm. Casey Grimm, former, C former Raw Relax Wrestling Goddess Champion. Has not had too much success so far in CPW getting a championship. She is she is in, she is technically currently in the Women's World Television Championship division. But, but a win here, or in a, in a win at Road to Glory, could bring her to the next level and get her back to that that top prize to that women's championship. Lifting her up here. Oh! A <coughs> she went for a type of a brain buster but drops her head right on her knee. And a big curb stop by Casey Grimm. And Alice Pierce continuing to laugh. As she gets, as she gets dealt with pain. Many people deal with pain differently, but Alice Pierce is the is one of the few people I've I've ever seen that's actually laughed while in pain. It's almost almost like she enjoys it. Big right hand, back in the ring, back in the ring goes. Alice Pierce, Casey Grimm. In the side headlock, and what, what ability, what agility here! <coughs> that was amazing e equilibrium, holding her up like that, and doing that headstand. Now back in the submissions, trying to wear down Alice Pierce. Taking the right hand, breaking out of that hold. A version of a side headlock, and back to this. Back to this front slam, driving Alice Pierce right in her head. And, oh man, speaking of on her head, Casey Casey Grimm, well known for her neck injuries, as that's what took her out of action for so long. That bulldog, but that suplex really, really rocked. Casey Grimm and a big, big, big roundhouse kick. That is classic Alice Pierce and complete shot. I thought she was going to go for the entering Wonderland, that that Canadian destroyer of hers. This is cover one, and only it's a one. Oh, well, she went for it, but got countered. And, oh, there it is, the sound of silence. The DDT. And now as Pierce kicks out. Casey Grimm saying this is a fight now. Casey Grimm getting back into this fight and getting back, <coughs> obviously shaking up the rust for being out of the ring for, for a while. Alice Pierce tripping her up. <coughs> Grabbing the arms and working on the arms of Casey Grimm in this, in this arm lock. Kind of a variation of, an, of a Rings of Saturn. Speaking of Saturn, we'll be seeing him, we'll be dealing with him on, on Thursday's match. There's a nice Liger kick. Here comes another sound of silence, and he hit, and she hits it. Goes to the cover one, two, and no. 
That was close. That was two and seven eighths. Alice Pierce barely got her shoulder up. Casey Grimm going to the top rope. That's this is this used to be where she would go, but she rarely goes here anymore. And oh, and got counter into a power slam, and now we know why. Now we see why she barely goes to the top rope anymore. She used to be back in the day. She used to be well known for her springboards as well. But I've not seen at Casey Grimm go for a springboard since she returned. Time certainly changes a person, and Casey Grimm now at 30, 32 years of age. Certainly a talented performer and a talented competitor, and <coughs> an even better wrestler and a big drop kick. Right to the barricade. Get rid of the gut. Another thing I, one thing I can reveal, and I know David Perfect will probably be reinforcing soon. Um, I've been hearing rumors that we have a mis we're going to have a mystery opponent. We're going to have two. We're going to at least have two mystery opponents. Then we're going to have two mystery opponents for Road to Glory. Oh, what a kick. Right to the head of Alice Pierce. Alice Pierce continuing to be here in the ring laugh a little bit. Kind of chuckle. The takedown going right, to the, going right down to the legs and the right hands. <clears throat> the rumor is right now is that is that David Perfect is planning on a mystery opponent for Jay Benton for the Global Championship, only gets two. For for the Global Championship at, at Road to Glory. And he is also preparing a third a third man, third person for the United States Championship match at at Road to Glory as well with Bryce ja with Bryce Jacobs and and Max Young. And apparently at on April 3rd, which will be a, a a stream show, on April 3rd, the show the show though will be called. Oh man, there's entering Wonderland. <clears throat> this could be it. I'll go back to that in a minute. This is the cover one, two entering one. Oh, they got a two. On April 3rd. On April 3rd. Road. There will be a show called Journey Journey to Road to Glory. The Journey to the Journey to Road to Glory. And apparently we apparently on that show we will find out one of those two pe one of those two mystery opponents. That will be at Road to Glory. So that'll be an interesting So that'll be an interesting show and Hope that you will be with us on April 3rd. With a nice neck breaker by, by Casey Grimm and went for a kick. And we'll have four matches. No, six of them. We'll have six we'll have six qualifying matches on that show as well, as well as two matches preparing for other championship matches that that I have been hearing rumors about, but I will but I will not be bringing them up until the time is right. Went for that Liger kick, goes to the cover. One, two, it only gets two. That was close. I, I was about ready to, to call right there. That was close. Alice Pierce is feeling woozy, but got countered. She went for the sound of silence. It got reversed, but whatever she was going for after that got reversed as well. And Alice Pierce nails that roundhouse kick and drops Casey Grimm down. So far from everything that I'm hearing, Road to Glory is going to be an out, a big show, a very stacked show. The date has already been the date has already been set has already been set. Road to Glory will be April 24th, live here on YouTube, here on here on Against the Odds 20, 20 channel. And, oh man! The outside superplex right on that tile floor. 
one of these two women may not may not make it. Heck, both these women may not make it to Road to Glory at this rate. <clears throat> Looking up Casey Graham and Casey Graham just pushing her off. How is Kate big drop kick? Casey Graham, how is Casey Graham even still standing? What a matchup this has been between Casey Grimm and Alice Pierce. Good matchup here to start off the week. <clears throat> and there's more to come. We have Carl Sat we have Carl Saturn versus Rocky Lee Scott, who is very impressive in that in that turn. Oh man! Tombstone pile driver. Who is very Rocky Lee Scott was very impressive in that in that match, in that tag matchup. Oh what a spin kick! What a spin kick by Casey Grimm. Kind of her variation of that heel kick of Jen Corso. Only got a two. Oh, running knee. Running knee strike. Knocking down Casey Grimm again. Goes for the cover one. Two. And only get the two, says referee Mean Joe Callis. Alice Pierce knocking down Casey Grimm. This match has been an amazing back and forth encounter. Like I said, Rocky Lee Scott and, and Carl Saturn will have their qualifying matchup on Thursday. This coming Thursday. Oh, man. Bleach out on the floor if you are watching this matchup on Monday. If you are watching this matchup later, later in the year, and obviously that match will be that matchup will be right after this. So hope you will, will enjoy that one. Rocky Lee Scott will have, was very phenomenal in that in that four way to decide who will be the the first ever CPW World Tag Team Champions. Standing up up front against two against two first ballot Hall of Famers. Nice drop kick. And Chris Knight and, and Benjamin Knight. So Rocky Lee Scott has earned his, this opportunity to to be in a ladder to glory qualifying match. <clears throat> Carl Saturn, I don't know how Carl Saturn got to got to that, but probably got a qualifying match, but probably those connections. Oh, only got a two. Only get, probably those connections with the with the Canada Cartel, former Canada Cartel member Bobby Crenshaw. Not former member, but current, you know, member of the Canada Cartel, Bobby Crenshaw. He is a former Ladder to Glory winner. Big clothesline. He was actually the second Ladder to Glory winner. Big roundhouse kick. That was a nice springboard clothesline by Alice Pierce. Alice Pierce just just wondering what is it what is it going to take to put down Casey Graham and goes for a cover and only gets a two. She's getting frustrated. Now, with Alice Pierce, that is a very scary thought. This this unca uncaged woman just going, oh man! There's there's entering Wonderland one more time. Will she get it here? One, two, and Casey Grimm somehow kicks out of it. I don't know how Casey Grimm is getting up. Going right back to this arm hold. Just wrenching on the neck, trying to work on Casey Grimm's neck. That neck was was surgically repaired years ago. And before she returned was was surgically repaired again to allow her to get back in the ring. There's another Liger kick dropping Alice Pierce. I think I saw a two fly on that one. That's right to the gut. Big right hand. Piston like. Springboard. Big forearm. That was a beautiful move by Alice Pierce. Chin breaker. And there's another sound of silence. It's like the third sound of silence. Two and one. That's that gets a two. Alice Pierce 
kicks out again, and Casey Grimm just frustrated. Casey Grimm just pounding, pounding her in the face with those piston-like rights. Casey Grimm right over the spin kick, and she hits it. Kicking right at Casey Grimm's leg, and went for a close line, missed. Went, got for a kick, and there's a. Oh, she went for a. Try to go. I think she tried to go for a springboard again, but got countered. Went for something. Back suplex. Nice move by Alice Pierce. Stopping right in the face of Casey Grimm. Alice Pierce goes for a cover. One, two. Only gets a two. Alice Pierce setting up and a big DDT dropping Casey Grimm big clothesline and those bright hands <coughs> Alice Pierce crazy and frustrated she's normally crazy but frustrated Oh gosh, dropping her right in the head, right in her head with that one. Goes to her cover. One, two, and only gets a two after that. After that kind of pump handle driver. She's throwing her outside of the ring here. Alice Pierce frustrated is not the wisest thing in the world, and is not. And is very dangerous. Well, um. I'm very scared to see what she's going to do. Right in the barricade, and referee Mijo Callis is counting it. Oh, man! Right through the barricade, Casey Grimm. Casey Grimm just got ran right through the barricade. I don't know how Casey Grimm is still walking. Her body must be in pain. And, oh, what a running knee. Right to the head of Alice Pierce. Back in the ring. Casey Grimm. Going to go for a fourth. Sound of silence. What's their cover? One, two... And that's it. Casey Grimm. What a battle this was. What a match. What a fight. This one was back and forth. Casey Grimm is moving on to the Ladder to Glory matchup. And we know the first woman out of the eight that will be going to Road to Glory and will be in the Ladder to Glory matchup. It is Casey Grimm. The original, the OG goth. <clears throat> or as she calls it, or as she calls herself, the OG goth bitch. Here what a battle. Winner, Casey Congrats to Casey Grimm. What an absolute battle this was. Casey Grimm somehow able to pull it out and is going to Road to Glory. Thank you all for watching. Message me on PSN if you want to be in my new Discord. And in the words of my friend Beetle, this video is done. Thank you for watching. More content to come.